In the following video, we are going to take our sound icon and allow users the ability to toggle the volume on and off. Okay, so let's begin. Let's select all elements of our graphic. We'll need to right click and group this into a canvas. We'll need to right click again and select make into control, select all, select the toggle button, rename it to volume control and select OK. Okay, so now our control is a toggle button, but as you can see, we have this big toggle uh, text going across it. We'll need to select the objects and timeline, select the content presenter, and just delete it. Okay. Okay, we can hide the objects and timeline, and we'll want to come over to the states panel and select unchecked which has all of our graphic. We want to select checked and click on our three graphics and we want to set the visibility to collapsed. We'll also want to take the sound icon and set the opacity to 60%. One more thing we'll want to do is select the actual canvas so when the user clicks on any part of this, even if it's here or in this empty space, we want the user to actually have something to click on. So right now, as you can see, there's no brush. You'll want to select solid and you'll want to just set the off of that down to zero so the user won't see that background. Want to do the same thing to the checked. State. Okay, we'll select our meteor element, go to the properties window, and look for is muted. Click on the advanced properties, select data binding. Uh, select the element property tab. Select volume control. And select is checked. And press OK. Let's run the project. Okay, so we have a video playing and we hear audio and we are going to just simply hit the sound control and there's no audio. We'll turn it back on and off. In this video, we bound the media element is muted property to the is checked property of our volume control toggle button. I look forward to any questions or comments you may have. Thanks.